No contest. Musket's been TOing this tournament, so he might not be as clean on the sticks as McLeod might be right now, who obviously has been in the mountains, it seems. Alright, better warm up for both of these guys before we get into anything. But if you're watching and you haven't followed already, please follow the stream. We do these Smash Tournament streams pretty regularly on this channel, as well as some home FPS and rhythm game content. If you want to watch the VODs for any South Australian Smash content, head over to SA Smash TV on YouTube. All of our VODs and matches will be uploaded there. We have been going through the Ultimate Weekly Back VODs recently, and um, I will be getting up the Ultimate Cheese League VODs as well. Uh, the match mods specifically soon no and then match mods for this tournament will also be on there so follow catch warriors SA on twitter and me on twitter for when those go up Survival. until that everyone just strap yourselves in for this first match of winners finals we're just going into grands. I actually do kind of want to see Musket do pretty well though. Because if he does well in this match, I would be very, very happy to fight him in grands if I make it through my path. We're going into it though, game one. Here we go. And it's Dreamland as well, which is pretty cool. If you ask me, I think usually you, you probably actually want to take the Peach to uh, to Dreamland here, just because um, I would rather have the mo the room to move around her uh, her like obnoxious hitboxes than be stuck on a stage that you know doesn't give me that freedom. But that's all right. Must get out the gate looking pretty strong. He's just kept McLeod in this corner and hasn't let him breathe. He's gonna take the first stock. 49 on that first one is not too bad, I'll be honest. It's playing this pretty, pretty well. I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. I think uh, Musket is doing well enough to take this. It goes high. The cloud with the coverage. He had a chance to finish the set card, but now it's going for a bit too long. Musket goes low this time. He's going to get one more chance to make it back. Oh! He's been given a gift, but... McLeod is too good on these edge guards, actually. One of McLeod's defining traits as a player is his ability to actually finish up those edge guards. Get lemons on the mic. Oh, I could. Send him a message. Oh, that didn't kill. That was close, though. Ah, damn, just a bit of flubs by both players there. We saw McLeod go for a tech trap. Sorry, uh, the tech chase at the corner. Uh, but neither of these guys really got anything out of uh, each other's actions there. Oh, this is looking like it's going to be a stock with that drill up smash, wave shine up smash. Yeah, I think, uh, nah, Lemons is going off to play some Marvel vs. Capcom. I am not going to see him on the commentary desk for a while, dude. I am so sorry. It's all right, though. It's all right. We're just chilling. Just have, happy to have everyone here. <gasps> that's going to be the stock, though. Oh, that's probably, like, the quickest, like, the lowest percent kill of uh, this entire set so far. Very good stuff from Musket on that one, I'll be honest. I'm going to keep it real. Musket looking kind of nice. Oh. Oh. He's got the combos, but the down smash is going to easily interrupt that. McLeod had a chance to even it there, but get up attack is going to get him off. Nice power shields. McLeod's got those power shields on some fucking lock right now. Yeah, must be playing good. Reminds me of the good times when Musket would play well. 
Oh no, McLeod relinquishing that first game by falling off a stage with an aerial. It's all right though. He's got the FD counter pick to go through. Must get no stranger to this stage, but this is obviously in Peach's favor. If, if you're if you're putting a number on it, you know, like ah, uh, good tech chase there from McLeod. He's still getting a lot of damage, even though he didn't get the chain grab. But uh, now. Muskets answering back. The way McLeod uses these down smashes is really, really strong against uh, the space animals because he always like just sits in one place and just times the down smash at the right time so that like you just run into it. <laughs> Why does he not peach today? Um, good question, honestly. But to be honest, I don't think there's anything to be gained for Musket to, if uh, if he switched. On pe to Peach on this stage, just for this stage, you know, like, I don't know. That said, I have never seen these two play a Peach Ditto. Um, whether or not I want to, different story. That would be cool, anyway. Oh, nice recovery. He could gain a win. He could also gain a win from playing Fox. I, I don't see any reason for Musket not to just ride out the Fox, in my opinion. Uh, he messes up at the last moment there. See, playing on console is super weird, lads. Like, it it doesn't predict your inputs, you know. <laughs> like, there's no there's no like uh, there's no prediction to anything, so it's like it just feels like raw. It just feels raw, you know, raw. Hello, in dinosaur. I love you, in dinosaur. That killed it. What? Seventy nine? Hang on, how much damage does up smash do? Like 17 or 14? Someone help me out here. But that was like an 80% up smash kill on Peach. Chain grab. Coming out the decks. McLeod still hasn't really found his footing on his counter pick yet. He's not found a really good chain grab into death. And Musket starting to run away a little bit more, but a little bit of flubs at the edge is going to take it. Ugh. Both these guys just like... I mean, I was going to say not respecting inv invuln like invincibility there, but you know, where does Peach go against an invincible fox on this stage? You just have to float up in the air and then just mitigate your damage, really. Musket's playing so well right now. These full hops into really late aerials, just keeping the cloud guessing. Oh my god, the pickup with the soft nair too. Like, I'm sure that's like a Sakurai angle pickup. Surely, right? Oh, he's making it back. Nice! That was really nice. I'll keep it real. Musket's got a million chances to close this one out right now, and McLeod can only really take one hit before it's all over. Ah, uh, he did so much to avoid him, but it still wasn't enough. Musket with a 2-0 on, 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 uh, on McLeod right now. He's looking strong. Musket just delivering the goods. Yeah, what can I say? He's just playing well. Here we go. Finally got the chain grab. Finally something started from a cloud. He knew that he could trust himself to ride out this counter pick one more time. And there we go, first up, finally, in McLeod's core. Yeah, McLeod's no fab. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny these claims, but if I were to, you know, be a betting man, I would say McLeod's no fab. He's motivated in life. Oh, here we go. Any damage coming out? Like what I'm seeing. And a good uh, tech chase setup there from 
from a crowd as well. This should spell the end of the stock for the musket though. Oh my god, just insane recovery. It's gonna make this stock last a little longer. He's on stage now. But he has to mix him up one more time and Fox again just so privileged. Oh, McLeod was stuck in the Fox pressure just pretty hard then. Didn't know if he could make it out there, but he uh, does that unfortunately give away this stuff. Very unfortunate. Yeah, he's just not closing it out. No back airs, no nares. Just insane DI from Musket too. <laughs> That's a funny observation, guys. But uh, I'm going to reveal some movie magic for you. The key light is on, on the left side of these guys, so that it's going to cast more of a shadow on the right side of their arms. So it just looks like McLeod has a huge gamer arm. Whereas uh, Musket looks like he has the opposite. He has the, the left arm gains because he's been playing so much melee. <laughs> So it just looks like McLeod's got a massive right arm, like massive right bicep. And also because his shirt is like slightly higher up on that side. Whereas Musket, even shirt sleeves, and the left arm's like... The left arm on Musket is uh, like the forearm. It's looking strong, like... He could probably like... Slam my face into the ground pretty hard with that. Another chain grab from McConnor. Closes it out finally on this two stock shit. Just good to see him like actually get something started here. Ah, but that's gonna do it. 3-0 to musket. God damn. God damn. Just some clean confirms on musket. I'm gonna take it. Uh, up next though is Loser Semis, which is uh, me and Bradley.